So, bro, let me ask y'all a question. Let me see if I'm wrong. So, this girl called me up, asked me, do I want to go on a date? As soon as we get there, right, you know, we eat, talking, having a good little conversation. They come down, they hand, they hand us the, um, the check. Why are you paying? She looked at me, I looked back. She said, mm-mm. So I'm like, damn, you wild, buy that. So look, you tell me, if a girl invites you out on a date, right, who are you expecting to pay? Or do you okay, pardon me. I don't want to have no parts of me. She a clown to me. All right, welcome back to another episode of Talks with Scotty. I'm here with the city boy, Italy. <laughs> you already know what time it is, and you already know who I am. Scotty to either little Scotty, which everyone is going to call me, know, or know me by whatever. But look, for the, so the question of today is, if a girl invites you out, like, on a date, right? All right. Okay. Are you paying for the meal, or are you letting her pay for the meal? All right, cool. So it go like this, man. Yeah, as a gentleman, for sure. Like, first date. I grab it. I grab the bill. But mm -hmm. if she say she would like to pay for it, who am I to say no? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I believe in treating a female. You know what I'm saying? Make her feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to feel good too. Type so I, I'm big on that right there. Like, if she want to buy me some, like I was like growing up, I'm like, man, hell nah, because I ain't asked nobody for nothing growing up. I ain't like to. I don't want nobody throwing that back in my face. Mm -hmm. But if she like, if she saying she want to do that for sure. Yeah, I need that. So look. What I think about it? Am I wrong for like you said, like you like being treated? Yeah. I think I think well, I mess up at sometimes, bro. I feel like a girl really doing me. She'll pay for that meal first. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure I get mine first before she get hers. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say you're wrong. But yeah, the only reason why I think like that too, bro, cause like I think about like how like how like our generation is, bro. Yeah. These females, bro, they, they claim they up and all that. So it's like shit, forget that. Like they be trying to flex on us, stone on us. I'm trying to see what y'all gonna do for me now. Like we always, y'all, y'all always want us to do this for y'all. What y'all doing for me? I mean, what, when you say it like that, though, mm -hmm. I agree with you though. Like to a certain extent, like yeah, because I know what I'm bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. Females always doing in the eye. Oh man, if a nigga ain't got this, he can't fuck with me. All right, cool. What you bring to the table then? Exactly. If you can't afford no meal, I can't be fucking with you. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> gonna be out here struggling by my damn self. You supposed to be my helpmate. If you're gonna be my girl. Supposed to help each other out. Mm -hmm. So if you can't pay for no food, baby, you need to get your priorities straight. Hop off this date and run your bag up for real. Shit, I like I like I like McDonald's, bro. So that 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 be my date. I'm fine with a McDonald's date. That's what I, I mean. It's wherever y'all decide to go. On, you know what I'm saying? You no know, wrong spot for no first date. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Most females they want to go somewhere cool. Yeah, but I mean, if you decide to go to McDonald's, nigga, there's no rule book on it. Can't be McDonald's. You do what you want to do. Facts, facts. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. So fuck that parents go buy me a big neck, we double all that shit. And all that stuff. So you so so you would like, alright. She say, alright, alright, so I will. And then what if she be like, no, I'm like, I did invite you out, how about you pay? How you make it up? It shouldn't be it shouldn't be no problem. But one thing my homeboy told me, mm -hmm. and like it stuck with me, uh, it kinda depends on who inviting who to the date. So if I it's like me inviting you to my crib. I gonna call you over there and make you cook. You know what I'm saying? Like even like as a homeboy, I'm a cook fool. You come over there and enjoy yourself. She invite me. Look, I want to take you. I want to go on a date. And I mean, yeah, she can pay for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not big on like old school double standards and double standards. Period, bro. Like if we both working, we both can pay for a meal, a date, or anything. So now explain the double standards because you always say that, and I'm trying to. God damn, no, bro. <laughs> he almost smacked this shit out of us, bro. Yeah. <laughs> driving out here, but uh, with double standards, I give you, like, the one that's always uh, coming up, like, with uh, a nigga having hoes and female having hoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm that nigga if I got hoes and the female is supposed to stay down for us. I look at it like this, bro. If we both out here sledding and, you know what I'm saying, been a whole tricking out, whatever, it is what it is. Like, nigga, I can't look at her worse than a nigga. We both doing the same thing. Only difference is though, she can get pregnant, and I'm getting somebody pregnant. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be bringing up the lock and key shit. Oh man, I got the master key, and she just got her lock. Man, that shit don't mean that, nigga. That's some. I feel like that's somebody with a bruised ego sense or shit like that, bro. If you fucking off me and a hoe, male or female, you just being a hoe, and that's the end of it. So I, I like to say this. So when girls call me a hoe and all that, my my my, my response to it is, I'm single. 
I'm not tying down to nobody, so I cannot be a hoe. So why would a female be a hoe? She out fucking. She out fucking. So now this now here goes this saying right here that my mom like to use. She be like, um, oh. she said a man can run out here butt ass naked. They ain't gonna call him nothing. But if a woman run out here butt ass naked, they gonna be called a hoe. Now how now how would you break that down to be like That's because of social norms. That's the only reason why people say stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If somebody outside freaking naked, they naked, bro. It's really simple. I don't, I don't try to over overindulge or overthink on that. It's really simple. Been hoe, been hoe. Been hoe, been hoe. Yeah. I, I, like, I like to say I like to be called single And then I feel like Females can take Like more emotionally Than niggas When it comes to that too What you mean yeah. Like let a nigga Be fucking off Who you want your girl To uh, forgive you Off the rip Let your girl Fuck off on you And that motherfucker Hurt his head <laughs> Fuck that bitch Fuck all these hoes I'm finna do them Like she did me Ah man You playing a certain Type of game There's rules to it you know, Don't get yourself hurt now Try to dive out there and do all that shit. Because a girl gonna want to get a get back. And she'll get you so damn good to fuck you up. You ain't gonna never know until she tell you. Bro, it's not even that. You know niggas hurt, hurt more than women, bro. Right? Yeah. I hold you. I, I just heard this recent two things. Like, a, a woman can out a dude way more. Right? Every, every time. And that just and that's the bad thing about it, bro. Every time, nigga. And it's, and it's sad. I'm like, damn, I be thinking I be having the one of them thinking the one of them so my dumb ass. I mean, you can one up a female. You there. can. You can. That's a toxic ass game to play with, man. I don't even want to jump in that. <laughs> no, no, talk about it. Talk about it. I done been there like, what? I had a female I was fucking with strong, so called, saying I love this girl. I'll fuck out shit, fuck out. We get back together. And then, I, like, start fucking niggas I know. I'm like, damn, that shit kind of hurt. So I start fucking our little female friends. We going back and forth with this little shit. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing nothing but hurting myself. We'll sit down. She be sitting there hurting, crying and shit. I can't believe you did this. I'm like, bitch, you did the same shit. Like, man, I'm telling you, that's a badass though. See, I never, caught up, man. I, I never ran through a friend group like that before. Bro. I ain't never. Nigga, them man, look, bro. Niggas and females doing the same shit. I done seen, man, these niggas is wild today. Oh, for real? I done, I done, I done. <laughs> nigga, can't even fuck this no more. I scared my ass. It ain't even you. It ain't even you. But nah, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Niggas and females be doing that shit everywhere you go, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Most of them keep it low. Some people keep that like they loud with their mouth, so your business be out. You know what I'm saying? But they they out there for sure. If you're looking for it, you'll find it. If you're looking for it, you'll find it. I promise you that. I can't, bro. I can't. Cause they 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 one of my hoes. I ain't gonna say my hoes. They my girl. Go back and have sex with one of my niggas, bro. It's I'd have been in my little little fair share of situa a situation like that, but I can't go through it again. But I'm bro. saying, though, if you go through that shit, you can only control you, bro. You can't control what nobody else do. Mm -hmm. Focus on you doing your part. So would you blame yourself if she go have sex with one of your niggas, or who would you blame in that situation? Good. It depends on the situation. If you're not on your female like you're supposed to, making sure she's straight, somebody going to do it. So that gives her the right in a way to go like have sex with one of your I niggas? Ain't say, I ain't say she was right. Uh -huh. I'm saying, though, they give her... A reason to go jump out there and want to go do that, but I'm not gonna say that's right. You know what I'm saying? Then sometimes my buggers be wanting to experiment and do some shit. And she jump out there and do that. So I ain't gonna take the blame for her doing something. Vice versa. If I go do something, she can't blame myself for it. I decided to do that. I don't care. Oh man, like motherfuckers, oh, I got weak in the knees, bro. This bitch was so bad. If you really care about your girl like you said you would, yeah, even though temptation there, you're gonna say no. It ain't gonna just be easy because you're in a relationship. Oh, yeah, man. I got the baddest bitch in the game. I ain't gonna never cheat. Nigga, Jay Z cheated on Beyonce, nigga. Man, I don't believe in that shit, man. I tell niggas straight. You be, I, I tell girls that too. I'm like, bro, you can be the baddest hoe out here, the baddest girl, baddest female, baddest woman, baddest lady. Like, you would get cheated on. And it could be vice versa for niggas. Anybody can get cheated Anybody on. Anybody can get cheated on. You know what I'm saying? You ain't above nothing. Everybody the same, man. Shit. What you say? It's equal opportunity. Yeah. Straight like that, shit. Straight like that, bro. You said it right. That's and all it is. And I'm more to add to it. I don't know. I just, I stay. I don't know, bro. And then as of right now, I don't know if I can even get in a relationship. I don't know, bro. You know, if you got the mindset thing, you don't need to be in one. Don't do it. Yeah, Tell you what I told somebody the other day. She was like, "How you feel about getting in a relationship right now?" So right now I'm focusing on me, working on me. You know what I'm saying? Why would I be trying to jump into a relationship with somebody else and I ain't got myself all together? Right. That's two people to work on now Because y'all become a team You know what I'm saying So let me ask you this What's So up? When it's time for you to get in your next relationship Alright Yeah So 
What is the four questions you would ask that girl? Man, man I ain't got no set questions to ask nobody. So I just be getting to know somebody and then I'll fill them out. I can't put set questions on it. It ain't gonna be the same. Did that light just turn off on us? So it did. Keep going. So you say you don't got no set questions? Mm, nah, I just be kicking it with them, filling them out. See if I can vibe with them. My energy's good. I don't do it based off of uh uh, what's the look? The little signs? Oh, Capricorn. <laughs> Damn, look, bro. I feel like that's a little excuse, bro. I act like this because I'm a Libra. Now nah, you act like that because you stuck in your ways on some shit. And you don't want to change. You know what I'm saying? Do you mo do you mainly see girls doing that or men? Nigga, I see you see everybody doing that shit. Nah, females be on that shit. Niggas be on that shit. This is my thing right here, bro. If we gonna fuck with each other, mm -hmm. I need you to tell the truth. That's it, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Any female I fuck with. In the past, you can go ask about that shit. Uh, even if it was going to hurt her feelings. I told her the truth, vice versa. Even if it's going to hurt my feelings, I need you to tell me the truth. Because I like, if you lying, I can't I can't work with no lie. You can fuck up and make mistakes. Because we human, we all do that. But to just deal with a liar, nigga, I wish I would. There we go. Got this motherfucker. Finally. <laughs> I was reaching for that bitch the whole time. Yes. Bitch dead. Yeah, got something. Just need something to see how black asses. Yeah. Nice, dark skin, yeah, yeah. Love it. I'm light skin, bro. I'm sorry. Ooh. Wait, what? What I tell you, tell you? I said, nigga, I'm white. No, <laughs> when he said, all right, Kodak black. <laughs> oh no, Kodak black different. I don't know. So, what about omitting the truth? If that makes sense. Like you, what? you omit the truth. I don't know. We get to that. Right? Well, like, well, avoiding the truth. So, like, all right. So, many means like I just, I just learned this. Learned this meant like couple, like last week. So basically, it's like you telling like the half truth. Like you telling the truth, but you leaving things out of it. Nah, you gonna tell? You gonna keep? Man, look, bro. I'm gonna be real with you, man. Everybody saying they being player now. All right, cool. Definition player in my book is telling somebody what it really is and still having your way. I'm not hiding out from. I'm telling them what it is. You gotta give them that choice. And if they choose to fuck with you after that, man, yeah, they know what's up with you. They know what type of person you is. The fuck I feel like, why well, I'm not gonna fuck with nobody that's telling me half truths. Because if I'm asking you something, and then the same situation come up with one of your friends, and they say something different, somebody lying, I'm not fucking with no liar, bro. I won't fuck with no liar. I can't do it. I think I'm gonna be second guessing everything you're saying. Second guessing. Trust issues like a bitch. Okay. That trust issue. I've been working on that shit though, bro. Trust issues. Yeah, I've been working on my. I can't, I can't bring old baggage to somebody new. That's not their fault that I went through some shit. I can't. I, I, that I, ain't fair. I feel like you can always be more aware and just watch out for like certain, certain tendencies. Yeah, you be cautious, bro. Like once you fuck with somebody that's like been fucking up with you and shit, you catch some type of flags and signs. Excuse me. And then you be looking around, like, all right, cool. This type of person I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? You give them some more time and they might not be that type of person. It's like, all right, cool. I can fuck with them. What's your three red flags for men and women? Three red flags? Mm -hmm. All across the board. Uh, number one, we just talked about somebody that be lying too much for no reason. Mm -hmm. For males and females, somebody who don't want to listen. Because as a man, you got to be able to listen. As a woman, you need to listen. Like, I don't get that. Oh, you can't tell me nothing. Well, fuck it. We don't need to be together. There's going to be some times I need to tell you some shit. Like, I'm going to tell you when you need to shut the fuck up, I need you to listen. Sometimes, vice versa. Like, well, right now, you need to shut the fuck up. I need to hear you. And be like, you know what? Yeah, sometimes I do need to bite my tongue. And let it be that. I don't even know if I can get a third one. Them, them my two right there. And that's for both? That's for both people? Yeah, both men and women. Both know, men and women? Know how to tell the fucking truth, not lying. And then, boom, being able to listen to each other. Y'all make it. All right. So I got two more questions for you. Sure, run it. Probably one more. Let me see. So... <clears throat> So now, I hate I hate I hate these type of talks because I don't know you you know if you're an alpha male you know you know you know if you're a beta male f alpha female uh, or beta male yeah. beta woman whatever the fuck they call it yeah so do you believe that an alpha male and an alpha female can be in a relationship with each other? that makes sense yeah for sure if you're an alpha male or a female that's somebody who know how to lead mm -hmm. they need a leader on both sides only nobody that's just on. I don't know, buckle and fall under when I say something. Like, I'm trying to talk to you. Vice versa, you need leaders on both sides. Because if y'all decide to have kids together, the 
kid need to see what it's like to have a father that's, that's moving like he's supposed to and a mother. We just fall back to being able to listen to each other. Like when the time, like when the time comes, for you be a, for you to be a good leader, you gotta be a good follower. So yeah, that shit could work. If you're on that beta shit, you need to tighten up, work out, work, uh, work that shit out within yourself. Nigga said work out. Nigga, nigga said hit the gym. Nah, nah, work out <laughs> with your mind, bro. Work out with your mind. Like the fuck is you doing? Not being able to lead, and it takes time for you to get there. But before you start leading, you gotta follow. That's the biggest thing. So I feel like, yeah, that's a perfect match. Alpha male and female. Mm-hmm. Sad, bro. I, I can't. I don't know. Right. I, I, I don't, I don't, no, no, like, I feel like you could, you could just tell who the alpha is. You could tell who the beta is, in, in my opinion. You can. Well, you that's can. why I said you got to work on that yeah. motherfucker. That's the type of person you want to, you should want to be. You should want to be able to lead your life. Awesome, like and some something else they make sometimes they they're like it's cringy to me when people be like, I am the alpha male and shit like that. But y'all don't be tripping about it. I'm like, well if you know if you know you that then okay you that. Yeah. But I feel like sometimes too you don't gotta say it's just like some little baby say he said like he said I don't call myself to go, I, I leave that to the people and I feel like that's real shit. Like if you a real like if you real, like people know that they go say it. It'll speak for itself, it's right? Acting like action speaks louder than words, and that's on my, and that's on my level. That's not me going outside trying to merge everybody outside. Nigga, I'm a real nigga. Woo, woo. I ain't gotta say all that. If you real, it's gonna show. You gonna do that? Just like if you say you love somebody, you ain't gotta tell them all day, twenty five seven. If you love me, your ass is gonna lead up with that. So, yeah. My last question. My last question, man. My last question. All right, so as a man, right? As a man. So who who do you feel can teach you how to treat a woman in a relationship? Between like your mom and dad, or do they both? Oh, I ain't, I ain't mean to cut you off. You need both. No, you good. You see how your dad treats your mom. Mm-hmm. You see how your mom react to certain shit and how she carry herself. You need both parents. That's why my boys be like, it's rough when you grow up in a one parent household. Like I grew up with my mom and I love my dudes to death. I do. My mom raised me the best she could, but she can't teach me how to be no man. She not no man. It's that simple. Facts. Yeah. Facts. So I feel like you need both parents. You need both sides. It take a village to raise a child, man. Hands down, with that one. Yeah. And I feel like that's something. That's something. That's something too. I feel that. Cause I feel like I haven't been in touch with my romantic side. I don't like being romantic. Uh, Cause like I never saw like my pops for for be romantic. You ever ask about it? I think I did. I can't remember. Yeah, shit, ask, ask them. Maybe they just on some chill shit now. Like, yeah, and they do something every now and again. No, they no. My parents split up. Man. Oh, they split? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I love my mom. I'm having a lot. Type shit. Yeah, type shit. So, you know, I'm not really a mama's boy. I'm like, like I'm like a daddy's boy. Yeah, all right, cool. You yeah, yeah. up on the air Yeah, I, I like being over my pops. No weird sure. shit. No nah, you good, bro. It's your dad. I'm a mama's boy. I fuck with my dad, though, to a certain extent. That's some shit that he taught me without being there. And then, like, when we started talking when I was getting older and shit, it was some stuff that he had went through. Mm-hmm. And I was all right, cool. I can see why you might not have been there for certain stuff. And I had to forgive, I had to forgive bro, for that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of walking around that hurt, I used to be pissed off. Like, damn, nigga, everybody got their dad at home. Mm-hmm. And then my daddy over here, woo, doing his own shit, he locked up. And then, shit, sometimes having both parents in the household can be chaotic. Because you got people who don't know how to treat each other. And then that's the type of example you get growing up. So I don't know the situation's very for everybody, man. Environment. Yeah. The environment does play a role. Yeah, for sure. Alright, but look. So you heard it from him. He said, fuck that, he gonna make the girl pay. And that's real shit. I'm making a woman pay on my next day. I don't care. Yes, we do pay for dates. We do. I ain't gonna say I'm a fuck nigga like that. But I feel like I am anyway. No, let me see. <laughs> I ain't like that. But look, bro, I appreciate it. Yeah, that's sure. Anytime, my nigga. That's all. Like that ass, you doing it? All right. Oh. So listen, if you like my content, if you like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and um, just share the video. Let's make the channel grow. Let's get together. All right. You, you can stop.